So I'm reading um, Eckhart Tolle's The New Earth, and he's talking quite a bit about ego. Um, and I think what he's getting at has really been implanted in me through Carol Dweck's mindset, the growth mindset. But his saying it in a different way is helpful. Um, and thinking about all the things that you own, um, that you say you own, you preface it with my, and, and then thinking about losing those things and how that changes you, if that diminishes you at all. Um, just very helpful, because it's not that you, you wouldn't be sad, um, his example was losing a ring, a lady re losing a ring from her grandmother. Um, it's not that you're not going to be sad about those things. But being mindful not enough to know that that, well, it's a dear possession, it's not, it doesn't, it's not you. So it's helping me with the whole balancing act of because um, good or bad, we spend so much energy on that. Um, I'm just so curious of how simple things like that could completely change the world. When you look at our days and how much time we spend in defense and on rules or policy because we don't trust um, Or not even getting out and doing things because we don't feel adequate. So it's just, I don't know. I guess I'm often feeling like the crazy person that I've crazy and oversimplistic person that I've always thought I was. Dance, even. Um, because some things just seem so simple to me. And in that simplicity, we find so much time to do things like it. I got from reading Clay Shirky's Cognitive Surplus and um, I got from listening to kids over the past few years about how to spend our days. Um, that and then listening to people talk about their curiosities and things they're already doing as opposed to things that they think they're supposed to come to a place called school and then attain and prove. Um, very anxious about and you know maybe the brain being a new nonlinear portfolio ish trail um, because I do believe there's so many things in our way that don't need to be in our way of feeling like this is not ridiculous and today I am alive. I think if we really believed those things, we would do a lot more. Another thing I th I'm anxious about and thought about is, you know, getting back into the schools, because that's what everybody is, like, what can I do tomorrow? So just the idea of maybe a uh, fears erased here daily and curiosities growing here daily. Walls and schools. And then maybe going in every so often, you know, like with Taylor or P 
Peter, whoever wants to go and um, facilitating some of that. And that kind of let led off of um, Steve's idea to travel through and start up conversations. The whole idea of spewing ideas out via an improv or that chalk wall and then modeling how we can play those out, you know, individually. It's so funny because prototyping ongoing prototyping. Why did I never get that before? I mean, 